Uh, news came through a couple of weeks ago that you were going to go for England and uh, you had a great game that day against Gloucestershire. Have other players mentioned it to you as being a subject of either locker room banter or questions? Uh, oh, not particularly. Obviously, you know, I've said this a few times, everybody has aspirations of playing at the next level, but um, there's no better shop window than doing extremely well for Middlesex. So my sole focus at the moment is just trying to win games in Middlesex and putting us in good positions. Um, I'm enjoying that at the moment, and if we keep winning games of cricket, we'll play more games of 50 over cricket. So what better place to be? Now, the last two games that, that, as in you play, you've guided the team home. You're coming with a game still in the balance, but you've managed to play, perhaps you could say, in the first-class cricket uh, in a white ball environment. Do you play more or less your normal game on these occasions? I think you've got to try and be adaptable and flexible. Um, and if we were changing 350, there would obviously be a few more risks that would have to be taken. But I think when the run rate sticks between 5 and 7, on grounds like this with a short boundary, you can play good normal cricket shots and still get good value. So obviously you're hoping to try and stay with that rate. Um, and you have to be flexible. So it's just been lucky enough that our bowls have done such a good job and we've been allowed to play our normal game. Um, but you hope that, you know, if, if the task is that you have to go at 7, 8 and over, you might have to take more risks. But more or less, it's about assessing the situation and adapting to try and play in a way that's going to win your side the game.